Welcome to another My Solutions training video for the MyTrack ERP software. This video will describe how to set up your division information. Please see the manual for a full description of all the parameters that are available to customize your experience using the software. MyTrack is set up as a hierarchical business entity. For example, you could start with an organization. This is your primary organization. Within an organization, you may have multiple divisions. If you only have one division, you still must set that up. But an example would be you have a division that is a machine shop and a division that is a sheet metal shop. MyTrack allows you to do reports that consolidate both divisions. You can move work orders, sales orders, RFQs between divisions, which allow you great flexibility. What you first do is you go to Division Maintenance. You reach that by going to the ribbon bar, the Maintenance ribbon bar, and clicking on Division. In this example, I have four divisions set up. When I click on the My Maintenance Division, you can see that it shows the name that you could call the division, the phone number, fax, and you apply it to the organization. You could enable or disable divisions. One other example of doing divisions is you could create a play division or a sample division in which you could actually test the system, try different things out without changing your data in the main division. Each division can have addresses. We don't set the addresses up on the organization, we set it up on the division because each division could be a different physical location. Each address is set up by clicking the add button or double clicking on an existing address. Once you bring that up, you could fill in all the standard address information. Make sure you pick an appropriate address type, which could be billing, billing and shipping, and shipping. Also, you could go through and set up all your tax information. So you are able to have actually up to four different type of taxes for each invoice, sales order, or RFQ you do. Once that is all set up, you could then assign users to a division. In my track, you could actually enter users. The users are shared between divisions, but each user can have a different access levels per division they are applied to. So for example, in my maintenance division, these users are available. If they're not available, you will not see them. If you want to add a user, you'd hit the add button, select the user, and select the security group that you want to apply to that user for that division. So in one division, the user may be able to create orders. The other division, they may only be able to view orders. So you could set up all your divisions and all your security levels with users. Lastly, the parameters. The parameters are broken into different tabs from accounting, sales order, invoices, inventory, miscellaneous, quoting, routers, and some email. There are more parameters available as the product continues to evolve into more and more features. Please see the manual on how to set up all your parameters. Setting up your parameters make it easier to actually implement the software and use the software because there will be more defaults and more less data entry. Also, you can fine-tune the product for your specific organization's needs. Thank you for listening to the presentation and please see all the rest of the videos we have available for you.